Hello and welcome to all of you. Today this is a discussion regarding the solution of JEE main offline paper 2015. I'm here to discuss the solution of physics and the paper that I have today is code D. So let's begin with. The first question it has come from the topic center of mass and it is almost a common question. Distance of center of mass of a solid uniform cone from its vertex is Z0. So there is a uniform solid cone and the center of mass by symmetry we could see lies here and the distance from the vertex is Z0 it has been said. If the radius of the base is R and the height so this one is the height that has been given to be h then we need to calculate the value of z0 the distance of center of mass from the vertex it is a very common fact that is expected from all student preparing for this examination that the distance of center of mass from the base is h by 4 so quite obviously from the top that would be 3h by 4 however if we go and derive of course the derivation technique is the whole solid cone can be thought to be made up of stack of number of such disks of variable radius of course placed from the bottom to the top and the center of mass of the disk is here at this particular point and one can always calculate ycm as integral y dm by total mass and from this particular formula you can get the value of center of mass of the solid cone from the vertex that's 3h by 4. Now let's go to question number 2. Question number 2 is what we have from the topic electromagnetic wave. It says a red light emitting diode emits light at 0.1 watt so at the source the power if I denote by P is 0.1 watt uniformly around it so therefore the distribution has to go in a spherical manner the amplitude of electric field of light at a distance 1 meter from the diode so at this particular point I need the amplitude of the electric field of the light so energy that's been distributed spherically so at this particular point if I calculate intensity of light that is P by 4 pi R square and that intensity can always be related with the electric field component as half epsilon naught E naught square multiplied by C where E naught being the amplitude of the electric field C being the speed of light so with this particular thing if you solve then you'll be getting the value of E naught to be 2.45 volt per meter so that was about question number two let's proceed to question number three 